Alright, so this is my first installment on meal prepping for athletes. Uh, please excuse the shower cap on the head. I'm deep conditioning. Dara, I hope you're proud. Um, today's mission, curry chicken, one of my favorites. A lot of people feel like when they meal prep and they have these pre-made meals with a diet plan that everything has to be bland and everything is disgusting and there's no flavor in the food. I'm a firm believer and if you don't like the foods you're eating, you're not going to eat it, period. I don't care. You'll force it for a while. If you got to show in your prep, it's a different story. But for a continuous diet, a year-long diet, and a two-year-long diet, the rest of your life, it's not going to work. So, the 80-20 rule most people follow, which is basically 80% of the time be completely regulated on top of it, and then 20% of the time be lax. That's cool, it works for you, the everyday average 9 to 5 can make that work. The athlete needs like 90% of the time really on point. You give yourself a 10% window of, of being lax and basis. And that's just if you're, I want to say, beginning athlete. If you're really serious, then you're taking everything 100%. And you know that. Food, rest, everything. Uh, but again, for the everyday average Joe that's trying to figure out how to still eat good food, get a little six pack, little four pack, you're going to start with some curry chicken. I recommend for y'all that really eat heavy like I do, buy your, your chicken in bulk. Either go to a butcher or go to a Sam's Club or a BJ's and buy a case of chicken. You're going to save hella money compared to what you're spending per pound in the everyday average supermarket. And per pound, you're spending more. So back to the goods. Six pounds of chicken. I don't measure the salt anymore. If you had to have a real measurement of the salt from me, it's probably around two to four tablespoons. Iodized sea salt. You can use pink Himalayan, you can use whatever you prefer, whatever your salt base is. Um, the sea salt has a lower sodium count. It doesn't have that chemical salt taste to it that the regular salt does. So I prefer the sea salt. It's better for your overall. Pepper. Basics, this is just the base people. Base season is salt, pepper, garlic. There's no magic here. Pepper, you go as crazy as you want, depending on how hot you want it to be. Now the garlic, you don't have to go too heavy on the powder because I also do minced garlic for the base that's gonna cook up in the pot. Mix it up, you gotta get your hands dirty. You can come in for this, you gotta get your hands dirty. You gotta get your hands dirty. Make sure your hands is clean. I ain't show me washing my hands, but they are washed multiple times. Make sure you wash your hands. Every go round you're dealing with meat, wash your hands. Try to keep one hand clean, one dirty hand. Why? You gotta add more seasoning. That first shake down with my little two to three tablespoons of salt. A little bit more, just to make sure I got that seasoning in there. I like flavor, I need sodium in my life. I sweat a lot, I burn it out. A little bit more pepper, I like spice. A little bit more garlic. Get your hands dirty. <laughs> get, get your hands dirty. You gotta get your hands dirty. If you're not willing to get your hands dirty, you gotta get a girlfriend or, or, or a boyfriend or whatever you're getting to get their hands dirty. Somebody gotta get their hands dirty. Now that that's ready, wash my hands. First is the rinse off. And yes, I'm teaching y'all how to wash your hands. Why? Why? Why would you teach me? I'm grown. I'm not gonna wash my hands. Cause I guarantee you didn't wash your hands. You nasty. You went to work today. You ran to the bathroom. You was in a rush. You ain't wash your hands. How you know you don't know me? Cause I wash y'all everyday people do it. See, I'm OCD. And I'm working at gym. So I'm around germs and disgust all day. I wash my hands to the point that I need lotion in my pockets all day. Just get a little bit to keep them nice and moist. But you won't even wash your hands for you fix your food. Don't do it. Don't kill the people around you. Cook this food from the heart and with love. All right, wash your hands. Say it again, wash your hands. Don't be dirty. For real, people dying out here. Next step, make sure your pan is clean, make sure your pan is dry. Why would you say make sure your pan is dry? Oil is going in. I learned the hard way when I was younger. If there's water in your pan and you put oil in, and you stand too close and then the oil heats up, the water will evaporate and pop, and there will be a bubble. And then the bubble will pop in your face and oil will burn the shit out of you. Don't do it. So, pour up oil in the cooked pan. No, again, I did not measure it. What does it equal out to if you have to get real measurements? Probably three to four tablespoons. No, these aren't guest measurements. At one point, I did have to measure everything. I just won't anymore. Figure it out. 
works. You want to coat the pan to the point that you can shift the oil around. Pull the oil. Nice. I have six pounds of chicken. It's not too much oil. What oil do I use? Safflower seed oil. Safflower. For those of you that don't know, if you are a big fan of the supplement, CLA, conjugated linoic acid, which we all use during our cutting season, and I do use also during the bulking season, so I don't hold too much here. Based on safflower seed oil. Use healthy fats. Healthy fats will always translate to a healthier diet. There's no crazy science here. Start off on high. You want that oil to heat up. Not a fun part. This is the fun part because shit can go wrong. Everything can go wrong really fast. How fast? I have oil that's about to hit the boiling point by 30, 45 seconds, maybe one minute. Heats up real quick. I gotta add my two tablespoons of curry. Try to get a good curry powder. I don't have the best, I won't say this is the best, but this is a really good curry powder. Two tablespoons of curry powder. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. One tablespoon of minced garlic. And again, I like spice in my life. Thank you to the family, Christmas special. Bone rattle over it up. Two tablespoons of bone rattler. So if you're not down with the spice, obviously don't add the bone rattler. Um, it is recommended by me to add a little bit of spice. So get like tapatio or get yourself a real light uh, hot sauce. No Tabasco. Again, you don't want your oil to burn. You want to get a little bit darker to the point that you can see the color changing. Now is the time to add in the two tablespoons of curry. Curry's gonna start to cook up. You have to cook up your curry. People. Oh yeah, and then there's a special seed that I have. A tablespoon. Spicy brown mustard. Indeed. Why? The is amazing. Now you're gonna know what's in it. Come here and check out the curry. So now the curry is starting to cook. Boom, so high. Gotta bring that temperature down real quick. The curry is brown. This. My friends, it's the color of curry. This is the color you want. You don't want black. I have ruined curry too many times in my life. This is the color you want. You let it sit for a minute, two. Watch it, I keep my eyes on the curry. This is not a game right now. Curry cooks quick, you don't want to burn it. Turn that heat up a little bit. I want it to cook a little bit more, there you go. Y'all can't smell it. Can you smell it? Smell it. Curry's changing colors. Drop that temp. Nice, healthy, healthy tablespoon, as you can see. Abigail Christmas. Quick rinse off. Abigail Christmas. Ooh, drop that temp a little bit. You want that garlic to caramelize. Again, I'm all about bringing out the flavors. Hot sauce. It's that time. Now, if you don't want too spicy, you don't gotta do the full two tablespoons, you do a little bit less. Brown sugar is gonna help to cut the heat so it's not too much. I'm to get a nice look at that. Get a look at that. Man, the secret. The secret. All right, so look, at this moment, now that the base is in, chicken's in, make sure you get a nice flip, flip, flip. You gotta turn it over. Do not let that curry and that garlic and that base sit in any corner of the pan or pot you're using. 
Gotta put some muscle in. Ladies, this is a workout. Gentlemen, this is a workout. Make sure you keep your, your head and face away from the pot. You will sweat. So if you notice what I'm doing, away from the pot, it's cool. If you know you're not dripping sweat, to lean over your pot. But more times than not, it's recommended. Keep your body from over. Because if you have excess hair, excess sweat, it's going to fall in without you realizing it. And you might love your people, but they don't love you that much. <laughs> I don't think they want to care. That's some voodoo. Don't, don't do it. I don't trust you if you're putting your hand food. All right. Now, turn that chicken up on high. Top on. Let that heat rise. Good to go in about 30, 40 minutes. All right, about to check on this. It's been on for about five minutes. On high still. Now, you can see. We got some liquid at the bottom that's gonna turn into the gravy. Chicken is evenly coated with the base seasoning and the base broth, which is the curry and the garlic and the brown sugar and the hot sauce and the mustard. That's the secret ingredient. We're gonna give it to him again. They had a sword or they didn't. Make sure you stir that chicken. You want to make sure that heat is evenly distributed throughout the pan and the pot you're using. Then you're going to leave that top on for another six, maybe seven minutes. Let that heat cycle through. It's the whole point of keeping the top on. You want to keep the cycle through. All right. Now is the time that the chicken is about to go into the simmer mode. We are bringing it down off a of high. As you can see, it's been about another five minutes, six minutes. Chicken is looking nice. Now, simmer time. About 20 minutes. It's just gonna sit. I'm looking for the action. When I see the first couple bubbles, I know it's the right temp. I don't want it to boil, but I don't want it to just sit. So is this the temp that's gonna give me what I'm looking for? There it is. There's my little bubbles. Those are the little bubbles I'm looking for. It's not a full boil, it's not no rolling boil. All right, I just came in from an immaculate leg day. Finished leg day. As you can see, that curry chicken, beautiful. Look how that seasoning sits on it. Again, Give the recipe a try. Comment below. Let me know what you think about it. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like. Share with a friend. Alpha Fitness. Alpha's United. More coming soon. I promise. Don't just be fit. Be Alpha Fit.